Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a little play of Bell Rose. So, Bell Rose, establish and expand your own settlements, liberate the land and assist its villagers, and recruit others to your cause while learning more about a life you had to leave behind. Command your forces, prove your valour through combat, and cement yourself as the hero of the people. So, we need the character creation. Let's have a look at the face types. What have we got? They all look a bit weird. Heads, uh, it's obviously a woman's head. It looks proper tiny. Right. Moo, fathead, weird head, pedo head, sex offender, psychopath, right, let's just pick a normal, normal face, there we go, normal face. Uh, don't get many choices, do you? We've got the old uh, under under the chin strap. Don't want that. We'll have a beard, a man's beard. Stick some lung hair on him. Name. That's the name. Let's start the game. Isn't it funny how one small decision can have consequences that ripple through history? Or are we victims of a predetermined path? Was it chosen for you the day you visited your favorite woods on your 10th birthday? Was it destiny that the royal family were hunting there at the same time? From a tree on high, you watched as Prince Voldar and Princess Osen laughed, talked, and tracked wild animals without a care in the world. And you watched in helpless horror as a stray arrow bolted through the trees, hitting the prince in the chest like a lightning strike. Just like that, the prince was dead. And when the princess found you standing over her brother's dead body, it felt as though the gods were playing a cruel trick on you all. In the panic and confusion, you ran from the scene as fast as your legs would carry you. Fueled by rage and grief, the king demanded the head of any child who fit your description. Fearing for your life, your father asked a friend to bring you far away. Away from the king's wrath. In the middle of the night, you were taken from your home and brought away on horseback. In tears, you called out to your mother, but it was too late. Your old life was over. For years, you hid from the royal family, your resentment growing. You heard stories of your homeland, the rise and fall of a rebellion, the death of the king, and the reign of the evil Queen Osen. But on the eve of your 20th birthday, your guardian, the man who smuggled you out of Carvinia and kept you safe all these years, was brutally killed by a mysterious assassin. As he died in your arms, his hand clutched a coin with a strange sigil emblazoned upon it, a clue. Now, you have returned to your homeland for answers. Through choice or through fate, vengeance would be yours. But how will you fare in a land you no longer recognize?
So, story is you was accused of being a child murdering prick, so you ran off. Uh, and now you're back. That's what I got out of that. Let's have a look. Her, her Indian examine chapter one. Story of the Lowlands. The Lowlands are the poorest of the five regions and one of the oldest its occupants rely mainly on agriculture for the livelihood due to the scourge and the people are barely producing enough to sell, let alone to keep for themselves. The current controlling Lord Ashburn is cruel, is he? Let's kill him then. The Cavern Uprising. Ten years ago, tragedy struck the Kingdom of Cavalier when Prince Vulder was killed by a stray arrow. We just went all through that shit, didn't we? The Hyandine is believed to be the oldest uh, settled village in the lowlands, but conflict of sound, blah blah blah. In years of its establishment, is that okay? All right then. Talk to Dobrin. Get some right shitty names in this. I can see it coming. Screen's going to be shit. Got to sort out the uh, graphics. I think. Have a little look. Oh, a rock. Tin ore harvest. Got me some tin. A stone. Another stone. Random. Right. What's in here? Loot. Coins, piece cooked meat, beetroot. Okay, torn piece of paper. We're fighting to save these innocents, but it's getting harder by the day. Who could have known that the butcher with that grim name is someone who's got a soft spot for kids? Together we're makes it family and blah blah blah. Can I get up there? No. Huh. Taking a shit then, won't he? Take a shit! Uh, flax. Sapling. I'll just take everything I can. More flax. More. Lots of sticks. Bush. Bush berry. Berry bush. Let's check what we got. Got some stickage. Build. Personal shack. Is that all we got, yeah? Tech tree. Journal.
weapons, storage, with bags and whatnot. Quick slots. Consume food. Okay. Ah, quick craft. Got me a fucking axe. A primitive club and a torch. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, we'll build a torch. We always need a torch. Stick that there. Let's carry on. Health and injuries. Sleeping restores your HP. When you or your companions lose a battle, they respawn but become injured for a certain amount of time. Okay. Can't it actually belongs to the village? Okay, so you can't just steal. You can't even pick rocks up in a village or a stick. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. Right, who we gotta to talk to? Check the map. Geezer, what's this? Bandit camp. Okay, so let's talk to. Let's go straight for the objective. Yeah. Start this off nice. Anything you can spare, kind soul. Anything you can spare, kind soul. I'm not kind. Fuck off. Here he is, the elder. I think we need to talk, traveller. If you're a new face around here, and new faces showing up rarely ends well for this village. I have a duty to my village first and foremost. I need to know who you are and why you came here. The voice acting is pretty shit, isn't it? I mean you no harm. I came to the lowlands looking for some answers. Excuse me. I didn't something to offend you. One. Looking for answers, huh? In a perfect world, I could give you all the information you need and you could be on your way. But speaking openly can be a death sentence these days. As long as you're asking questions, you're putting us in danger. Hey, you know what I'm going to ask you? It could be where the fucking hell to toilet, mate. I need a shit. Do you know what I mean? Fuck you now. Don't expect such a frosty reception. Uh, can I stay in the village? No. Fuck you then. Do you have my permission to build a shelter on the outskirts of the village? Come back once you're set up, and maybe you can earn your keep. Alright. So. He's allowed me to build something. Like he can fucking stop me anyway. Uh, press B to construction menu. Each construction requires resources. You cannot. Uh, yeah, no. Grand Solis. Yeah. Um, with great pride and admiration, we declare that the once amazing spectre of banditry has been vanquished from our lands thanks to the resolute efforts of our noble lord, Ashburn. 
But the road decree of fuck off. Stuck a shit in my ass. Right. Where are we headed? I can build something. Right, let's go to the edge of the village. Ah, oh, some flowers. I like some flowers, they're nice. And the graphics look basic. The uh, voice acting is poor at best. Seems like uh, this ain't no um, I don't think it's a game that I can really get into really, it just don't seem seems like very basic and some I'll get bored off pretty quickly, you know what I mean? Okie dokie. Oh shit, there's some red dots down there. How do I uh, fight? The bodies. Oh. oh shit. I don't get the uh Snuffed it. Snuffed it. Nearly I'm dead or crippled up. So I've lost everything. Lost everything except my weapons. Shit. Okay. So, I've lost everything. Never mind. I can collect it all again. Still got my axe. Uh, Bannerlord, oh shit, with the uh, directional chopping type thing. Okay, get out of it. Mine, put that away. And chop a tree down. There we go. Choppity chop chop. distance when you're chopping as well. Turn automatic. Which is good I suppose. Mine. Right. 
can't pick no more logs up. No problem. So where should we build? Where should we build a nice little base? That's where I died. Let's go this way up here. To the right a bit. Imp, make some clothes. Imp is also known as cannabis. Ganja, marijuana. You know what I'm saying? Get me a brick. Get me another brick. I'm full. Inventory is full, it says. I'm still need some more M. Should I cut down some trees? I met my, like, my little gaff in the trees. Yeah, I'll make it here. Yeah, perfect. Don't move before you pick the stuff up because you it'll stop you picking it up. Oh, I dropped that shit. I'm full up then. Okay, so let's, let's see how to build this thing. I need ten woods, six flaxes. Boom. That's where it's going to be. Okay, go around and build, put uh, items in the different areas. Okay, I get you. Okay. Need more wood. What's this? What's this? Stump. Stone. Should we chop, an chop another tree down, shall we? What's that? Construction. Personal shack. I need more flax as well. Right, I'm going to cut the tree down. What's that done? Fuck all. Oh, I've got some more wood. Chop that down. Flaxes. What's that? Right. Let's look on the map to make sure that uh, to make sure we know where to come back to. Oh, I've got my, got a little sign for the house, so I'm good. Put that away. So we're looking for them purple flax flowers. I've got some berries. Can't take them from here, can I? No. Bastards. Over there. No, too close to the village. 
Can't even take flowers because I'm by a village. It's a bit much for me. Spotted. More berries. Inventory's full again. What's in it? Fucking big sticks in there. Drop a log. <laughs> I dropped a log. <laughs> Sapling, take that shit. Berries, berries, lovely, lovely berries. Ah, flax, got ya. Let's go back down. Night time's coming by the looks of it. Yeah, get the torch out. Two more. Two bloody more. berries should eat some
got them flax, man. Too close to the village again. Mushrooms. Should drop some. Get rid of these stones. Grab some more mushrooms. All good. No room for flax, is there? Let's get rid of that goddamn thing, flax. Then we need one more. Got you, you bitch. Let's get back. No, no, what? What am I supposed to do now? What's that, Ernie said? Random, any? Random, round. The difference in the building things. Yeah, yeah. Pri personal place to sleep along with your private chesticle. Nice one. So I sleep there. I put shit in there. I'm gonna put some mushrooms in here. Some berries in here. And seeds in there. Okie dokie. How do I use hemp? to make stuff. Let's have a look. Armory and squad. What's this? Settlement. Yes. Can I change the name of it now? Raid threat. Threat of raids, that shit, in there. Oh, I can build all this shit now. I've got bog, outhouse, housing tent, campfire, camp chest, research desk, 
simple workbench. Rocks and sticks. Yes, please. Where should I put this? Fuck, now where to put it, is there? There. Beautiful. Need rocks and sticks. Let's find some rocks and sticks, shall we? Flux right there. Piss take. Okay, all done. If you chop down this, oh, there's a stick here. Stick! Thank you, Mr. Stick. Stick! Stick, stick, stick. Let's get a stick. Up your ass. Right, let's have a look how far that gets me. Remove this fucking tree out of the way as well. Don't want this tree. Too close. Can't move the fucking stump now, can I? Chop, they chop. Just leave it like that for a minute. Lots of sticks. No where to put them. Stones. Did I put some stones in my little fucking thing in here? I did not. Oh, is that broke, is it? Okay, a different torch. Sling that there. Find some bricks. Bricks, not sticks. Close that fucking village. It's a stupid thing, I need to stop that. It needs to be changed. Yeah, you can't steal proper things, but I mean, a fucking stone or a stick.
jump. Alright, so we cook all my stuff now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I'll remember myself a personal shack. Wait until tomorrow to check with that geezer. Okay, so we've got the mushrooms cooking. Take the log. And drop the log next to this house, next to the house bit here. Out of the way. There we go. We'll leave the town in the way really. Fucker, just the way I like it. So, off to bed now. See what tomorrow holds. Day two, five days until winter. Okay, we're up and we're out. Good morning, everybody. So, we're gonna talk to the elder again, back in the village. I'm thinking we're gonna have to build some more things within five days before winter comes. Let's go. Had a nice munch. Pro 
rotten rabbits. Can't they find their own patch to nibble on? Here he is. I'll get you there. Give me a chance to earn your trust. If I fail, I'll leave you alone. I said other things I need to do here. Nothing has changed since yesterday. Number one. I'll tell you what. We actually have one problem you can try to resolve. If you're willing, of course. It gets cold around here, especially close to the mountains. If we want to keep ourselves warm, we need fur for it, Looking rabbit for or trouble. wolf pelts. But you see our hunter. Well, we got into a little discussion about how things should work in the village regarding payment. I'm guessing you couldn't agree. He doesn't want to work with us anymore, but Herndine mostly depends on him to provide. I want you to convince him to deliver traps. If you can bring us rabbit fur too, that would be very much appreciated. But we can't expect you to do that every day. We want to be self-sufficient with our fur trapping. So, the priority is the traps, and the rabbit fur would be a bonus. Take care of that, and then I will consider your request. I'll see what I can do. Go speak with Amelie. She's a bit of a troublemaker, but her heart's in the right place, or so I have to tell myself. She has a good relationship with everyone in the village, and knows nearly everything that goes on around here. If anyone can point you in the right direction, it's her. The voice, oh, the voice acting is so bad. I mean, Curious you can gauge a game, how much effort's put in, and the quality of the game, I think, by the voice acting in an RPG. When it's just like that AI type, robotical, I like that, 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 that. You don't even have to look at the game, you just listen to it to know. It's not for me. Graphics are standard, bad really, for the time. Uh, no, the tiny game would uh, I'd really bother with too much. But let's continue. He's out of there. Get at the bushes. Say, have we met before? Your face is awfully familiar. Yeah, it's just AI shit, and it wank. You have to be a melee. Elder told me that you're a cunt. What can I do for you? I am. What I can I do for you? Uh -uh. Unfortunately, he's in the forest, just up the hill, not far from the village. Perhaps bring a book so you have something to do while he rants at you. Thank you very much. Let's go and try and find the hunter trapper bloke then, yeah? Oh. oh. Sound shit at night. Yeah. Can find a trapper bloke then. Gotta convince him to whatever that is, still make traps, not be a knob, I don't know. Something like that. Deer can see me by the looks of things. No problem. I haven't come for the deer. Here he is. Dick Cheese. What are you looking for? It's dangerous to wander around the woods alone. Haven't you heard about wolves or bandits lurking in this area? You don't look like the hunting type, so what are you doing here? I can't get over the voice acting, I'm sorry. Sent me to ask for traps. Hurt the people in Herndeen. Of course, now they need me. I'm not gonna work. Torbron has no respect for my craft. He doesn't value everything I've contributed to that damned village. And until he does, 
They can fend for themselves. Can you at least help me, Lee? Blah, blah, blah. No one in the village even wants to talk to me. You're asking for help, but you don't know a thing about me or what I went through. I don't care. I used to be a respected member of the community. I even could have been an elder if I wanted. But they degraded me because I refused to be a slave to Ashbourne's puppets. So I left. I still tried to contribute from a distance, providing them with fur, food, and creating traps for the sake of the village. You need to join my team. More. When I asked for better pay, the elder said no and actually warned me not to ask again. At one point, he said he'd speak to the brigands about my behavior. I don't defend anyone here. Yeah. Do sound rough. Yeah, well, the fine people of Herndine don't agree with you. That's why I want to leave that life behind. Let's make an arrangement. You need traps, and I can teach you how to make them so you can catch smaller animals. You look like someone who can get things done. I don't know why, but I feel like you have a lot going on inside your head. I'm willing to join you if you provide me with shelter and food. Together, we can make each other's lives easier in this land. Happy days. So, can we cooperate? Yeah, I'll build you a shelter and come back here. Lovely jubilee. So, where's home? That way. Let's go that way then. That one goes down pretty quick as well. Yeah, we're here, nearly. I think I was going to build him a shelter, but I'm thinking I'm going to end the video here because it's just more building at the moment, uh, and the game's not for me. And that's it, really. If you like getting, if you want to see episode two of this, then let me know in the comments. I doubt anybody will. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Get this channel up to 100 subscribers, nearly. Thanks, and have a nice one in a bit.